properties of Laplace transform, another important property is differentiation property. So within this differentiation property, two properties are there, time differentiation property and frequency differentiation property. If the differentiation operation applies in time domain, what happens in frequency domain? That part we have to discuss. Similarly, if the differentiation operation applies in frequency domain, then what happens in time domain function? That part also we have to discuss. So this differentiation property is again two type, two properties are there. One is time differentiation property and another is frequency differentiation property. So first of all, we'll go through the time differentiation property, right? So time differentiation property. Time differentiation property. So time differentiation property that name explains here. Uh, if the differentiation operation applies in time domain, so what are the changes occurs in frequency domain? That part we have to discuss now. So first of all, I'm taking the basic equation. Laplace transform of f of t is Laplace transform of f of t is f of s. So Laplace transform is used to convert time domain functions into frequency domain. So Laplace transform of f of t is f of s. Then immediately we have to write like this Laplace transform of f dash of t. See here I have wrote f dash. What is the meaning of f dash here? Differentiation of f of t that is d by dt of f of t. See, sometimes we can write like this or sometimes we can write in this format also. f dash. f dash is nothing but the dash symbol is generally used to uh, apply to find the differentiation of the given function. Right. So f dash of t is equivalent to d by dt of f of t. Now if the differentiation applies in time domain in frequency domain this complete function whatever the function f of s function multiplies with s minus which gives the initial conditions f of 0 f of 0 is nothing but initial conditions f of t function at exactly t is equal to 0 that is called f of 0 that is initial conditions so this is the standard statement of differentiation property so Laplace transform of d by dt of f of t is equal to s into f of s minus f of 0. Now we have to prove this, right? So to prove this purpose, again I'm taking the basic Laplace transform formula first here. Laplace transform of f of t is integration from 0 to infinity f of t into e to the power of minus st dt. See within this equation here, which function is there? f of t function. This function multiplies with e to the power of minus st dt. That's why here I have wrote Laplace transform of f of t. This is f of s. Now from this, I want to find the Laplace transform of this function here. To find that purpose, here I, again I am taking this equation, same equation. f of s is equal to integration from 0 to infinity, f of t into e to the power of minus st dt. This uh, equation I want to expand here. So I want to expand this equation. To expand that purpose, here I am using one standard uh, integration formula that is uh, integral of u dv. Integral of u dv. Integral of u dv explains the u into integration of dv, whatever the dv function that in the, that function integrated minus integration. And again, we have to take this one integration of dv into differentiation of u that is u. This like this. This is the standard uh, mathematic uh, mathematics uh, equation here. So the integration of u dv formula is u into dv minus integration integral of dv into du differentiation of u, right? Otherwise, the same equation we can write like this. Sometimes in few textbook the equation is like this: integration of u v. You write as it is, and here you have to write v one. What is the meaning of v one? Integration of v. V one is nothing but integration of v minus minus integration integration of v1 into differentiation of u differentiation operation is explained by this symbol and integration operation is explained with this symbol right so we can use any one formula here both are, both are explained the same same relation same analysis otherwise we can use bernoulli's rule also bernoulli's rule within within the integration two functions are defined then we have to apply bernoulli's rule bernoulli's rule explains the first function right as it is and apply integration of the second function minus integration 
integration of the second function and again differentiation of first function minus and so on so because it performs a number of times operation right here just I have wrote uh, u dv formula integral of u dv now I want to assume this analysis here so here the given function is like this integration from 0 to infinity f of t into e to the power of minus st dt is there right now in this function just I am assuming here u is equal to f of t u is f of t as is right and what about dv dv is here I am taking e to the power of minus st into dt right so I am assuming u is this one and this is dv now again we want here u into integral of dv and differentiation of u so that purpose from this dv I am writing here integral of dv dv is e to the power of minus st into dt then integration of this function becomes here e to the power of minus st by minus s right integration of this function becomes e to the power of minus st by minus s and similarly du du is nothing but differentiation of u that is like this d by dt of f of t or we can write like this f of t dash right so replace all these terms in this equation right so you are applying this equation here integration from 0 to infinity f of t into e to the power of minus st dt is equal to so write the u dv equation u u explains the f of t into because u is here f of t into integration of dv integration of dv is this equation e to the power of minus st by minus s so whenever if you apply this integration immediately we have to apply the limits the limits are from 0 to infinity minus minus integration integration operation right as it is integration of 0 to infinity integral of dv integral of dv means this formula I can apply this one here e to the power of minus st by minus s into into du differentiation of u differentiation of u is f dash of t into dt right so finally here I have applied one basic integration operation that is integral of u dv u u dv integral of dv minus integration integral of dv into differentiation of u differentiation of u is nothing but f dash of t then substitute the higher limit and lower limit in this so now in this equation becomes here if you substitute higher limit e to the power of minus infinity becomes 0 so otherwise write as it is e to the power of minus infinity into e to the power of minus infinity here f of infinity into e to the power of minus infinity by minus s minus substitute lower limit f of 0 into e to the power of 0 by minus s later take this minus s outside then becomes 1 by s 1 by s and the remaining part is integration from 0 to infinity f dash of t into e to the power of minus st dt right and here e to the power of minus infinity becomes 0 so this complete term becomes here 0 minus into minus plus and e to the power of 0 is 1 so this becomes f of 0 by s into f of 0 by s into plus 1 by s this complete function is defined like this integration from 0 to infinity f dash of t into e to the power of minus st dt so just observe this equation this equation is similar to this one Laplace transform of f of t is integration from 0 to infinity f of t into e to the power of minus st dt that means this e to the power of minus in st into dt multiplies with f of t here then I have wrote Laplace sum of f of t now in this equation this e to the power of minus st into dt multiplies with this function f dash of t then we have to write immediately Laplace transform of f dash of t right so from that f of 0 by s plus 1 by s into Laplace transform of f dash of t what about this side this is equal to f of s because 0 to infinity f of t into e to the power of minus s t is here f of s write this side as this f of s f of s f of s now 
take S uh, is LCM, then substitute this side, then finally which becomes S into F of S, take F of 0 this side, it becomes minus F of 0 is equal to Laplace transform of F dash of T. See, Laplace transform of F dash of T is equal to S into F of S minus F of 0. This is time differentiation property from the Laplace transform. So the same statement we can like right, right, right. We say Laplace transform of F dash of T is equal to Laplace transform of D by DT of F of T is equal to S into F of S minus F of 0. So in time domain differentiation operation, in time domain the differentiation operation applies in frequency domain, this f of s function multiplies with the s minus initial conditions of the 0, f of 0. So initial condition of the f of is nothing but this function here, f of 0 explains the initial conditions, right? So initial conditions, this explains the initial conditions of the f of t function. See here I have wrote small f representation, small f representation explains the time domain signal, capital F explains the frequency domain function. So this is another important property, this property is also called as time differentiation property and similarly we have to write frequency differentiation property, right. So please take this now.